The next demo up is by an award-winning chef and the author of Mastering the Art of Sous Vide Cooking, which was named one of the best sous vide cookbooks of 2019 by Book Riot. He was also recognized by the National Black Chefs Association as the first African-American to write a cookbook about sous vide. He is the founder of Gourmet Deconstructed Catering Services, which offers intimate parties and private dining for clients in the greater New York area. And he also manages the blog, the, the blog that started it all, GourmetDeconstructed.com. So please help me welcome my friend, Chef Justice Stewart. Hey, everybody. I'm Chef Justice Stewart. Welcome to the Isba's Seafood Subi Showcase. And today, I would, first, I would like to thank our sponsors, Shucks Main Lobster, Wolffish, and Sterling Caviar for providing us with the product for uh, our cooks to do these demos. Now today, I'm working with Wolffish, and guess what? I got some Nordic Blue Salmon, courtesy of Wolffish. Hackleback Caviar, that's what we're working with today. And the dish I'm gonna create for you guys is, pr is pretty simple. Uh, it's a spring dish. We're gonna create a, a, a spring risotto, a spring vegetable risotto, and we're gonna do some sous vide uh, blue salmon, and we have a dill creme. Don't worry guys, the recipe will be available for everyone after this demo. You'll be able to go to the website and get it. We have a dill crema. We have some avario rice. We have some summer squash, some uh, blanched, uh, wild asparagus and some finely diced uh, plum tomatoes. And what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take this beautiful Nordic salmon. Now, let me let you know, I brined it first in a salt solution, uh, five tablespoons of salt uh, to uh, a quart of water. And these are brined for about 15 minutes. And that stops the albumin from coming through. And that's that white protein you see when you cook salmon at high temperature. We're going low temperature, but today we're going to go 118 degrees. That's my sweet spot because I like to sear my salmon afterwards because I like a little crispy skin after I cook it. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to flame up this fire and we're going to get some risotto started. Now this risotto is very good. It's a vegetable risotto. Uh, it's a vegetable risotto uh, that we have used some chicken broth that's been infused with saffron. So that ought to be good. We're going to add that a label at a time once we start to uh, get everything done. So what we want to do is we want to melt two, about two tablespoons of butter in a pan over about medium high heat. You want to put a couple of tablespoons, tablespoon or two of olive oil because that would actually stop the butter from uh, browning and everything. Uh, we got some white wine. You know, we're gonna drink some of this afterwards. Fresh dill. Shallots, essential. We got some fresh lemon. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna melt this butter in olive oil. And I would like to thank you guys for attending this because without you guys, we wouldn't survive doing this thing. And we've all suffered a rough year with COVID and now we just all want to get back to normal. So this is going to be a beginning of us getting back to normal by us gathering together, cooking and supporting one another. Okay, so now we have this uh, water and olive oil that's melted. You're gonna pour your bar of rice in there. And you're gonna let that tin, you're gonna, you're gonna uh, basically toast the bar of rice a little bit. And we're gonna go through these steps. You know, risotto takes, you know, quite a few steps. So we'll be back with the recipe. So now I have the risotto started. And, uh, you know, risotto takes a little bit of time. So 
We're going to add a little bit of white wine in here. I added shallots just to let you guys know afterwards, which I forgot. We're going to add some white wine. Okay, you see that? And we're going to cut the heat down just a tad bit. Now, the salmon. Now, I told you 118 degrees is my sweet spot. And I usually go, these are thick fillets, about two inches. So I usually go in about 45 minutes or so. So while the risotto is cooking, I start my salmon. So what you want to do is put it in a Ziploc bag. Mind you, I told you this was brined already. So there was no need for me to season it any further. Uh, that's going to come with the risotto and the vegetables and everything. You're going to have a, a very seasoned very seasoned dish so we're going to take a little bit of olive oil this stops the fish from sticking together because it tends to do that when you sous vide uh you want to coat it make sure it's nice and coated and using a water displacement method you're going to just drop it in now you can add butter if you want you can add herbs if you want whatever your flavor profile but i wanted this nordic blue salmon to be pretty just straightforward so I can get all the flavors of this fresh fish. Okay, so using the water displacement method, we have the salmon here, 118 degrees. We're gonna go in about 40 minutes because they're like two inch fillets. Let those, let that cook. Now we have our risotto. So what we're gonna do is usually you would use a label, you know, but I like to add a little bit of broth at a time. Using a ladle, you would be using maybe three quarters of a cup to a half a cup, three quarters of a cup at a time. And then you're going to let, you're going to let the, the broth absorb into the rice. So just let that cook and Keep it stirred. Use a nonstick pot. That's the best way to do it. And what we're going to do, we're going to cook this risotto. We have our salmon in. We have our vegetables, a blanch. We have the summer squash. You have the blanched uh, asparagus. You have the plum tomatoes. Uh, and we have our wolf fish, the hackleback caviar. You don't know anything until you have some of this wolf fish caviar. It's really good. Small grain, but really nice, briny, but yet mild. All right, so we're going to start cooking this risotto. We're going to uh, ladle this in, and I'll be back to finish this dish off for you and add the vegetables and show you how to finish it off. Okay, so here we're back. It's been about 35 minutes or so. Uh, the risotto is really nice and it's done. Pretty much al dente. And now what you're going to do, you're going to add your veggies. Some people add cheese, but this is just a spring vegetable risotto. So we're going to skip the cheese. We're going to turn off the heat. And we're going to mix in these nice spring vegetables. Look how beautiful that is. You have nice al dente risotto, nice and flavored. Add salt and pepper to your preference. Uh, I use a uh, chicken stock that was already flavored by me, so, and I use saffron, so I, I went a little easier on this seasoning. Now, look at that beautiful risotto. So we're gonna take this off of the flame and we're going to add a pan there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover the risotto. I'm going to keep it warm until we get our salmon going, which is done. So get ready for that. All right. So we're going to get this fish seared up. You want it on a really hot pan. And I only see the skin side because uh, you pretty much, the fish is cooked. 
you don't want to cook it anymore. But, you know, for those of you who like uh, your fish cooked well, very well done, that's not what we're doing here. We're making really moist, nice, naughty salmon. And we're going to allow that skin to get, uh, to adapt some really, like, hard sear on it. And then we're going to plate up. All right, guys, so we got a nice little sear on this salmon, and we're going to plate up. So we're going to do take some of this risotto. This is a nice, beautiful vegetable risotto. It's perfect for this weather. We're going into the spring. We're coming out of COVID, which is great. Right? Okay. There we go. Got a nice plated risotto, vegetable spring risotto. I'm gonna take the salmon. I'm gonna get that salmon there. Uh, so now we're gonna take some of that dill crema. And you wanna put a nice dollop on top of your salmon. Okay, that's nice. And then that hackleback caviar, which is great. You gotta get a nice scoop of that. You gotta get a nice scoop of that. The top of there, and then. We can just garnish everything with some dill sprigs. We can put dill sprigs everywhere, just nice garnish. Okay, nice garnish. And there you have it, our Nordic blue salmon with a dill crema a vegetable spring risotto and hackleback caviar. Thank you guys for joining us for this great Cebu showcase. And I look forward to the next time we get together and cook. But in the meantime, wear your mask, get your vaccine and stay safe, everyone, and have a great spring. Did you guys enjoy Chef Stewart's uh, dish there? Please let him know in the comments. Give him some love. Um, I always love seeing what he does. I almost did a spring risotto in my demo that's coming up, and I'm very glad I did it because it would have been embarrassing for me to get shown up by uh, Justice's amazing dishes because mine would not have looked nearly as good as his did. So I dodged a bullet there. I'm very, very thankful for that. And thanks so much to Wolf Seafood for, or Wolf's Fish for providing the seafood. Uh, they were a boutique seafood distributor serving top restaurants in Boston, New York City, and across the country. They source only the best seafood, handle it meticulously, and cut fish by hand with an old school attention to detail and service. Their chef customers are just as obsessed with quality as they are, and the, they range from Michelin starred chefs working every day to maintain and exceed their own high standards to up and coming in independent chef operators striving to make their mark on the world. In spring of 2020, they launched an online store and home delivery service selling to home cooks, the same top quality products usually reserved for chefs. So please be sure to check out the amazing fish from Wolf's Fish. Thank you.